Mike's job is hard physical work. These are slippery suckers. At any brewery, I think you just, you really need a good work ethic. That moves or actuates. These cams need oil. Good. You don't want excessive oil, okay? From here, we're gonna actuate the machine. I don't want nobody hurting if I don't feel safe with you. Mike helps the undercover boss, training her in the ins and outs of manufacturing beer. He showed her the rinser, the tanks, the pipes, and the more he showed her, the more she noticed that his job isn't the easiest one on the market, as any mistake can cause the loss of a whole batch. Any delay will destroy the entire batch and the profits with it. 39 minutes before we have to have this tank completely done. Mike tries his best to be dazed and efficient as the product kind of demands that from him. Having someone else in the plant must be nice, but not so much if they're not as fast. But Mike remains positive. Rome wasn't built in a day after all. Our physical work. These are slippery suckers. At any brewery, I think you just, you really need a good work ethic to, to keep working. Each part of the process is extremely delicate, whether it's the mustard application or sanitizer application, each process demands the most attention. And most delicate is the quality control to test the yeast that goes in the brewing of beer. All the numbers must be on point, else it's just a waste of material. The beer will be lost. The pH doesn't match up. It's very complicated. There's only seconds to go. Now we can rinse that sanitizer. Unfortunately, the undercover boss caused some losses as she inherently slowed Mike down till a batch was almost ruined. Good thing someone noticed and turned it off before more fire breaks out. And they go get water. During this time, they have conversations. You're a hardworking guy. And you still have to wiggle in time for the kids. You're gonna go to college? All the money in the world. Undercover boss reveals herself and commends him again and again till he's known that he's one of the most hardworking people she's ever had the grace of meeting. And she commends him on how he manages to get all the values right for the fantastic product that he helps the company produce. $10,000 to an education fund for your four kids. Yeah, being able to take the family to, to a Leaf game is going to be amazing. Undercover boss goes to his branch in New York, excited and pumped for himself and for the experience he's about to have. Undercover boss Aaron goes in as a mechanic, and he meets with Angel, who is also a mechanic in the branch. Aaron changes into the uniform, and Angel shows him around. I work on a machine. Just a little preventive maintenance. If you want to be careful, you'll get a metal splinter. It's not fun. What you're doing? He teaches them to work the machine the right way that they work it in the shop. Though Angel is taking him through everything, he doesn't to like him very much as the undercover boss is not catching up to the normal speed. Aaron is a little bit, uh, you know, not the specific type of mechanic. Be careful. Yep, there you go. It could be two times a day. It's actually not so hard to note that an undercover boss isn't very consistent as a mechanic. The climbing process, washing process, repairs, he just isn't giving the top speed and Angel seems pretty nice about it, though some jabs of sarcasm and passive aggressiveness can be noted. Anything that moves or actuates. These cams need oil inside the bronze bushings here. Excessive oil, okay? We're gonna actuate the machine. It's starting to get to a point of annoyance for Angel as the undercover boss doesn't act like the best mechanic out there. Angel is trying to keep it cool and trying not to scream at him. Well, technically, that's a good quality for a teacher, but then the undercover boss is about to blow his cover. Careful. And I'm feeling the, the wig loosening up. Careful. It's gotta be seeing this. I'm, I'm, I'm totally freaked out. Undercover boss is in Ponca City, Oklahoma, working on a construction site, working on a power plant transmission line that's transferred to homes and offices and mid-range power facilities. Undercover boss is under the hot Oklahoma sun with the construction teams, and he meets with Hugh. How you doing? Looking for Hugh? I'm the foreman of the crew out here. Here's our little thing we do every day on uh, hazards on the job. Hugh makes him sign a document that includes safety precautions and whatnot. I mean, that's kind of necessary considering the work they're doing. He begins work and Hugh is already giving him orders that might not particularly be necessary. They're both construction workers after all. Beat that thing harder than him. You can probably get more leverage on if you don't jump down here now. Hugh is not a big fan of undercover bosses at all. He then went on a sarcastic rampage testing his strength in all categories. He wants him to operate the vehicle to push the sand into the hole. Undercover boss says he can do it, and he tries, but it's not to Hugh's satisfaction. Because if he isn't competent with equipment, 
he shouldn't even be in their line of work. Come on down. I don't want nobody hurting. If I don't feel safe, we 